Good afternoon. Welcome to CNT Collectibles. MC. I'm T. And hope everybody had a great week. So now it is time to put in your work, though. So we've got our uh, weekly market roundup. It's uh, this week in baseball charts, but we've got a couple of basketball and football as well, just to mix things up just a little bit. The market is heating up. It's not heating up. It's staying hot. It's overheated in some areas, and some areas there's plenty of value. But we're going to try and uh, pick out what we can, and we'll just have some fun with this. It's a thinly traded market, so don't take this too seriously. Although sometimes these uh, these charts work, but uh, sometimes sometimes they don't. So we'll just see what we can see and uh, and have some fun with it. So good start. Good start to the weekend overall right mm -hmm. terrific terrific all right we're gonna start out with mike trout as um, always the m in our mr beast index and here's the goat the current goat the current goat yeah absolutely so you can see in the he, long he's term a, he's a goat and um he's one of the goats of all time but he's also the best player in the MLB right now. there it is absolutely i don't think you'll get a ton of argument about that so you can see that is a fairly well defined uptrend here uh, hit the top of the range and consolidated, and that's very healthy. And when it got to the bottom of the range, you can see it touched a couple of points before. It started to break out, and we threw a couple price points out, and then all of a sudden it just ran away. <laughs> um, and you're starting to see it come back just a little bit here. So we did say this is maybe too much too fast. The long-term trend is up. It's fine. But it's coming back just a little bit. You know, we said you know a little too much too fast. And what we are starting to see is when it got up to that uh, that high that high part that high print. Um, high price 70 7500 there's actually sales kind of in that eight thousand to ten thousand dollar range um looks like ebay scratched those you know maybe some non-payment people got a little too carried away and so about 7500 is your is your high print here and we were looking for a pullback kind of into this area and we're getting it here so its current price is sixty three hundred dollars it's psa 9 mike trout's psa 9 is seventeen hundred dollars which would imply a quick with 17 times three one gotta give me some time i'm sorry uh, we, we don't have time we gotta get people out of here so uh fifty one hundred dollars and so right now there's a disconnect between those either fifty one hundred dollars is a great price for a psa 9 or the psa 10 is uh is a little bit overvalued here i'm not gonna say overvalued but the price is trending down and you can see at the price since the price is trending down maybe we do see something in that 5500 area so 54 5500 so mike trout long-term trend is up short term might get a little better price to buy if you are looking for that particular card and everybody should be looking for that particular card at some point in their life hopefully i mean it's it's up there but in some condition i think everybody will want a mike trout and that's why his and prices are going because everybody wants a mike trout but it is also one of the most expensive cards ever not even close all right <laughs> um i don't know why we're not getting uh their computer working with me here luis robert i mean um, it's it's i guess it's in it's an expensive card but Ken griffey's up around five thousand dollars now but look at like um it's in the, look uh, at a lot of the basketball cards and michael jordan michael okay. jordan oh, yeah well, I mean, so it's, it's an expensive card and for a base card it's really expensive but it's it's not quite with uh with some of those big boys so but also let's just say it's in the top 35 Maybe. million. I, you know what? That's fair. It's in the top 35 million of expensive cards all time. So, Luis Robert, maybe not in the top 35 million of expensive cards all time. It's only so, 100 and like only 100. That's well, not only. That's still kind of expensive for him. So, he hasn't really done anything yet. He's a prospect. He's got all the hype in the world, but he's really just done a lot of sideways action. Uh, we said, you know, we were looking for prices to compress and said, you know, this usually leads to some kind of breakout the longer you kind of test this line here. So but buyers kind of like weren't a... willing to go above this level here. So uh, but fundamentally, we just thought this was too expensive in the first place and think buyers are starting to agree and you saw it just get knocked down. So it's at the bottom of the range if you're looking for Lee's like Robert. It's going down from Mount Everest, but then it has a lot of like time. It's like goes. sledding. It's like, woo. Um, it's kind of bumpy. A little pointy. bit bumpy. A little bumpy. And uh, but so the, so one, one cell was enough once one purchase one transaction was enough to bring it down to the bottom of the range here so um maybe you start to see some buying pick up in luis robert and we'll kind of see how that goes so right now 100 bucks and if you're looking for a psa 9 you know don't spend more than like 30 35 bucks or something again i think this is too expensive for him when you look at other players and we will look at other players that are cheaper i would i think i, I think there's other places to put your money here so all right um Mookie Betts is not cheaper <laughs> so he, uh, he's got a nice uptrend here, and you can see top of the range, bottom of the range, top of the range, and then just like Mike Trout kind of went sideways for a while, and then you're starting to see prices pick up a little bit here, or pick up a lot here, and he broke out, and you're just getting a simple little retest of that breakout, which is healthy, so if it could hold that, then you're looking at higher prices, and this could be the best player in baseball right now, currently. Um, if he beats Mike Trout this year, well, he's he... been he's been beating him. Um, so I th if he can if he can kind of keep it up and I mean, and the Dodgers win another championship, I mean, 
strong consideration. I mean, so. he was mostly one of the top players in their win. Um, yeah, absolutely. He's, but it takes a whole team, so there's a lot of great players that, that kind of contributed to there that. There was Cody so. Ballinger, Corey Seager. Oh, yeah. We can go through the whole list, absolutely. Oh. So, But you know, right here's a spot where you might see some buying. You know, people consider this their last chance. Now, if it drops below this, then you could see some lower prices. But as it stands right now, um, this is just a breakout and then a retest, and that's healthy. And then maybe start to see a lot of buying pick up in, uh, in Mookie bets here. So um, PSA 10 is $960. PSA 9 is $300. A couple weeks ago, it was $225. And, and thought there was more relative value in that. Um, but they've caught good, up at, at this point. So If he has a good season, he could break out and make it to $1,000 with this. He could be up there. He could be up there. So it's all about print runs and things of that nature. And there are not a lot of Mookie Betts rookie cards. So, But there is a lot of volume Eloy. on Eloy. A lot of Eloy Menes rookie cards. So a lot of sideways action here. So within that, there's a pretty decent uptrend. And if these prices are really compressed, now it's going to be up to him. Can he uh, Can he have a good spring training and a good season? I believe he will. Then these he prices has go some, up. Um, good players. We just went over Luis Robert and he, absolutely. And Eli, I, Luis, I'll take Eli, man. Luis I, Robert I, could actually help Eli. Well, hopefully he doesn't hurt him. So that defense out there is going to be helping Eli because Eli's defense isn't that great. But for sixty-five dollars, and you look at what Luis Robert is selling for, I'll take Eli all day long here. So sixty-five bucks. So don't pay more than. You know, call it 20, 25 bucks for his PSA 9, but, um, you know, not a lot of things here. They're giving you a lot of time to buy if that's the case. Now, below this, then you are looking at, uh, you know, 40 or $50 PSA 10, but, you know, as it stands right now, he's compressing, and, you know, maybe he should be up there around 80 90 $100 with those rest of those guys. If those other guys are trading at that level, he should probably be there. You look at, like, Bichette and, and, and Roberts, um, it's really dependent on the market as a whole. If those guys drop down to 50 or 60 bucks, then he'll drop down as well. But if those guys remain at that $100, $120 level, I think Eli should be up there as well. Um, I think so too, but all he right. just has to have a good season first. Well, all these guys, yeah, it really depends on their play. That's the bottom but line his, here. his rookie year was <clears> actually pretty good. <throat> it, was, it was great, yeah. So there's only so much this is going to tell you. If these guys start playing really poorly, then no one's going to want their card and the price drops off here. So Robert Acuna, uh, trending down. So Acuna has actually a couple <clears throat> Mount Severs. Yeah, a couple of them, yeah, big peak. And so when you have these big peaks, you do come back to a certain level, you know, usually where there was buying before. So here's your big peak, and it's like, that's a little too much. Here was buying before, kind of in this area. And uh, you've seen a lot of buying in this area here. There's a lot of interest in this card, but when he gets to the top of the range, he backs off. Um, what you're seeing here is top of the range backing off, but those buyers are coming in quicker and quicker. So when he backed off before, buyers were buying all the way down and it took a little while but now they're just swooping up quicker so i think you could look at a, a breakout and eventually i think you're getting to this area this is like that 250 area here so we'll see what happens on that one so the longer term trend is up um the intermediate is down and the short term is up and i think you you, you bust out of this one and, and people will start to maybe really chase it his projections look fantastic for this year so can he stay healthy and do that we'll see so 220 dollars for the psa 10 70 bucks for the psa 9 um, when this was at 165 for the 10, the 9 was at 40, and we thought there was a lot of relative value in the 40. So that card has almost doubled. Well, you know, the the 160 to, you know, it's not quite a double. Is it 40, 50% or something like that? So it's been fine, but I think the, the PSA 9 and in the uh, in the 10 have kind of caught up to each other, and there there's no relative value between the 9 or the 10, no, no advantage there. So you know, buy whichever one you can afford if you, don't, if you haven't already, and just ride the wave because I think he busts out and starts doing well. So, but he's he, got to get above this first. And he um, actually has a good team with Freeman and Ozzy Albies. Absolutely. Pache he, will help him out in the outfield. Yeah, uh, he, he Some could great have, pitching. He could have a good um, good season with them. Absolutely. You know, he, For him, it's about health because he's going to play well no matter what here. This guy will also play well no matter what. So. Because he, he um, won the World Series about two years ago. Two years ago. What have you done for me lately, though? That's what it's all about. So very defined uptrend. Long-term trend is up. And then you had this consolidation, this nice rounded bottom that gave you a chance to buy. And then right up in here, there was a lot of transactions. People couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted to do. There was a decent dip. Here we said, you know, right here, you might see some profit taking. And there was. But um, buyers have, and sellers have really transacted this area. And typically, you're going to resolve the direction of the previous trend. And that is what we're seeing. He's putting in some new highs at about $335 here. So Juan Soto is building up. And if he does what he did last year, I mean, this thing, again, we're looking ultimately, um, you know, it's not like, you know, 10 years down the road. It's like within the next couple of years, if he just keeps performing how he is, four or $450 on that card. And so um, right now, $335 for the 10 and $115 for the nine again there was a lot of relative value in the nine but that has caught up that is a that's been a double while the psc 10 hasn't quite been a double but um you've, you've made plenty of money e either way so especially you know back in here so 
um, yeah, look for this. If, if he does what we think he's going to do and healthy, then, you know, this breakout is going to sustain and he's, he's going to go up. And I think he will if he also has a good spring training. Um, he People could... go nuts for spring training stats, that's for sure. Yeah, but Juan <laughs> Soto spring training, that mostly goes the most nuts. He, he, well, he just doesn't have to screw up in spring training, so he just has to stay healthy because people know what he's, he's capable of in the regular season here. So, uh, Fernando Tatis, so you have a longer term uptrend, which is held, and then you and had your gonna, spike in compression and a gonna, spike. He's going to be on one of the best teams this season. Oh, since they look he terrific. Got those, those new players. Absolutely. They got Trent Grisham, and they got Tatis like two years ago. Right, and now they're gonna get like all new players, Mach they, Machado and the, all the pitching that they got. It's it's you know Joey, you know they're you know, not. I'm thinking of the wrong person here, but Tommy yeah, Pham. There you go, absolutely. But the yeah, you know, you Darvish and all the pitching that they have. Clavinger like will come back next year. They got you Darvish. They picked up everybody, man. It's gonna be I, they're in a they're in a uh, arms battle with the Dodgers there. So, anyways, compression and a breakout, and now you've wow, got the top of the range where there's been selling them. before, and you're seeing it again here. But the buyers are coming in quicker and quicker. It's starting to move up again, so I would imagine that uh, again that this doesn't hold for too much longer, giving another chance to buy here. But um, here's your you know, right here, here's your risk and here's your reward. So either way you want to go, but I do think it uh, I think it busts out. So that PSA ten is sitting at two hundred fifty bucks. The nine is at eighty dollars. So you know you look at your three to one ratio. The PSA nine, you know two forty would indicate about two hundred forty dollar price on the PSA ten. So either way you want to go on those, but. Um, these prices are compressing, and I would look for a Tatis breakout this year. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Below this bad, up that good, up this so good. So it sounds keep like, it like the that, Cubs right? Lost like a lot of their pitching just on um, one player. Yeah, well, they, uh, yeah, they're but looking the at, Padres, they're talking about trading other people and stuff like that. So we'll see what Padres they end up doing. Got the good um, pitching. They did. All and right, another, Vlad Jr. Another team that hmm. should look pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They got Hinjin Ryu last year. That helps their pitching a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The Blue Jays. No question about it. Nate Pearson could uh, contribute right it's away. Like so three years ago, there was nothing really too good. Sideways action for Vlad. You know, people started. are expecting a lot and then didn't get a lot, and now they're expecting a lot again. So we'll see what he can produce here. But within the sideways action, there's a pretty decent uptrend in price compression. And so we'll we'll see what he can do. It's really up to Vlad on this one here. The market doesn't really know. People aren't sure what to do with them. This is why you have all this indecision here. So there's a decent level, you know, 150 bucks on the upside and um, or 200 dollars on the upside. And then uh, on the downside here, looking at you know, I don't know what that is. Called 70 bucks or something like that. So they gave you an opportunity to buy, and now you're at the top of the range, an opportunity to sell, and we'll see what happens here. But this compression could lead to something. So three years ago, the Blue Jays were like nothing until they started getting. Or well, Scurriel, Boba Shett, Vladimir. Right. Well, that's why you have to have a good, Rio. especially in the East, you have to have a good farm system. So you can't go out and just reload and spend a ton of money like everybody else. Yeah, so you, you have to have Yankees a good sort of farm system. So, um, PSA 10 is $200. PSA 9 is $50. So I think there's, you know, some, some pretty decent upside, you know, call it. 30% or something like that for uh, for the PSA 9. So I think there's still good value in the for the Grero in that one here. So we'll see if if, if uh, sellers come in here or if, uh, if buyers overwhelm and push it through this and eventually out of this range. But uh, Grero's range bound, and I think people are just waiting to see what he can do this year. And they're anticipating something good. So we'll see how that the works out. The next one is Cody, Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. Yeah, our, our extra innings here, Grero and, and Bellinger. So good up trying to think he broke it. Now he's going sideways. So um, At about like 200 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two hundred twenty-five dollars is these, uh, the PSA ten. Sixty dollars is the PSA nine. So I think there's um, decent upside to seventy seventy-five dollars on that PSA and it nine. It looks like it, he just has to this get. This is up. a good bottoming pattern. He here, just has so. to have a few good games of spring right. training. Seems like and every other year he's good, right? A few. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just a few. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, not so good. Twenty nineteen, really good. Last year, not so good. And then this year. Maybe he's good again, and then that 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 sends these prices back up over the uh, the two hundred fifty three hundred dollar mark. So he just has to have we'll a couple good games of spring training, and it looks like he's going to break out. Yeah, just yeah people. Di games. I think pe well, people discount spring training a little bit because um, spring, tra spring training is kind of a joke. So, all right, get into a couple other sports here. So, our our. Uh, our good okay. pal Sports Card Anonymous on his live stream last week, they were talking about Dak Prescott, and he's he asked me, what do you think? And I was like, well, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm not smart. Um, but anyways, Dak Prescott looks like a very strong buy here. So you've got your uptrend here and hit the top of the range, and it's respecting that lower boundary, and it's starting to break out of this resistance area here. So I think as he starts to talk to more teams and becomes football relevant he's again. Like one of the only good um, players that I know on the Cowboys and I like. 
You yeah. Have, the All other right. ones are Ezekiel you, Elliott, Amari Cooper, Michael right. Gallup, well, and, and that's DeMarcus that's that's Lawrence. the word is maybe he's not going to be a cowboy for him for much longer. And I think you'll see excitement around his name if that is the case. And you could see a, a, a decent pop. So it's an expensive card. So maybe the raw is better or something like that. But um, you know, just the price action on the ten looks super interesting on that one. This breakout is uh, is kind of a big deal. So if we can hold it, then I think you see some higher prices. They could just have Andy Dalton for the um, backup. <laughs> but yeah, then I think he'd be the starter. He's a decent enough backup. So Michael Jordan PS8. We've been games. talking about this one. We did a video on it. Say, did the bubble burst a little bit? And the prices have declined since then. Um, I don't know. There's enough buying stepping in here. I don't know if it gets down to that, you know, that fifteen thousand dollar level kind of here where there's more buying. I'm respecting this. So if it breaks below these two areas, it kind of hit this confluence here, then yeah, then you probably get to that fifteen thousand dollar area. But there's enough buyers stepping in. There's interest here. So, you know, so yeah. So the trend is down, but um, for for how much longer? Well, well remains to be seen on that one. If you look at the longer term chart on that. Um, pretty pronounced up trying to respecting the range beautifully when and he popped out really it's just coming back down to retest that which is textbook this is what you want to see when you have these monster moves um you're gonna hit some some sort of level and uh you know so it went a little, a little bit too far you know this was kind of the target and then once it uh, pulled back it hit the upper side of that so that trends he... are made to be broken up or down but if he can hold this it's important that he holds this if not then you're coming back into here but if it can hold this then you can continue to grind higher now the psa 9 and the psa 10 are they're cards of their own you know those are for investors and they're willing to pay a lot more but for regular folk like us you know this is, we got to look at the eight on that particular card and in the um, video where we did hang on the kringle wearing and fudge they look, yeah. they look pretty close to michael jordan yeah we might have used the michael jordan chart and that's what prompted us like oh my gosh this looks a little bit crazy here so you can get them to vintage vintage basketball a little bit which is uh, a lot of people are gravitating towards and you can see a lot of nothing for a while. Moses Malone. Moses Malone. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> um, uh, so a lot of these older cars, and this is just an example of it, but you can see a lot of a lot of nothing for a while, and all of a sudden here's someone coming in to, to kind of light the fire a little bit. So again, you want to see a pullback to this area, but if it holds it, then then off you go. So it's just one purchase. Um, but uh, those those old cards are really getting going. So my favorite Malone yep, the was the Mailman. And so his 86 Fleer, kind of the same thing. A lot of sideways action. You see people going for these cards and really, really, Wait, uh, what do you mean? really buying I, I them. I think I know what you mean by the Mailman. Because he, oh, like, always... he delivers. He delivers shots. He delivers. He always delivers. So sideways action, breakout. And so when you see those breakouts, you want a successful retest at some point here. So he got it out of the way really quickly, that next sale. And up you go. And um, respecting this area. So below this, you're coming back down into this area here. But as of now, there's a lot of interest in this card up here. So perhaps that could uh, keep going here. So um, yeah, so vintage basketball. Um, you know, people are getting priced out of the new stuff. Or, or they're looking at Luca and saying, oh, am I paying hundreds for that when I could get, uh, get, a, Hall, get a Hall of Famer? So... Uh, like Michael Jordan that we just saw, LeBron exactly. James. Yep, for sure. Uh, Stephon Curry. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what we got for you. Pencils down, beers up, and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.